To balance this equation, we have P2O5 plus H2O, and that gives us this phosphoric acid here. This is a combination reaction. These two things are coming together to form this new substance here. Let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have two phosphorus atoms, five oxygen atoms, plus don't forget there's an oxygen atom here in the water. So let's put one there. So we have a total of six. Hydrogens, we have two. On the product side, we have one phosphorus, four oxygens, and then the three hydrogen atoms. At, at this point, I think I'll put a two in front of the H3PO4, and that would balance the phosphorus atoms. So now we have to count all this up. So we have three times the two, that'll give us six. Phosphorus one times two, that'll give us the two. So we balance the phosphorus atoms. And then for oxygen, four times two, that'll give us eight. And that's kind of nice we have even numbers here now for the hydrogens. Let's balance the hydrogens. So we have six here and two here. We could put a three in front of the water. So now for hydrogen, we have two times three. That equals six, and we need to update the oxygen atoms. So now for oxygen, we have the five here plus the three times the one. That's three, and that gives us eight. So we're done. This equation is balanced. If you had problems, it might be that you counted these five oxygens and forgot about this one over here. So make sure you count all of the oxygens here in the reactants. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for P2O5 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.